Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a new moon applique, which was another request. You could add the baby teddy bear to the moon or one of the other appliques. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 14cm by 21cm or 5.5 inches by 8.25 inches. This medium moon crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 8.5 cm by 14 cm or 3.5 inches by 5.5 inches. The small moon crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 6.5 cm by 10 cm or 2.5 inches by 4 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today, so the size will be a bit bigger than the medium moon. I'll be using Katona cotton today. The 280, the lemon, is my main colour. I'll need a tiny bit of 106, the snow white, 110 black and 390 poppy rose. I've got a 2.5 millimetre crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch the features to the moon. I'm going to start at this bottom end of the moon. I've got my 280 the lemon and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop so make it how you like. I like to just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and then the long end over the short end. Put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with this yarn at the end through this circle and that's my magic loop. For row one I work one chain and one single crochet into my circle. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put your hook into the circle and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the two loops. And then we pull our circle tight. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work and we work one single crochet into our stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn our work and we work two single crochet into our stitch. For row 4, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch. And we're going to work one half double crochet into the last stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet, you put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, the last one and bring up a loop. We have three loops on the hook then you put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For row five we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet in the last stitch. For row six, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For 
For row 7, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. For row 8, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. And work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 9, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch. And two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 11, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For row 12, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch. and two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 13, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our six stitches. For row 14, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And we'll work two double crochet into the last stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook. Take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then we work one more double crochet in that last stitch.
for row 15 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the following stitch and two double crochet into the last stitch. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our eight stitches. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the following three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into our last stitch. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and one double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches.
for bow 22 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches and one double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For bow 23, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches. For bow 24, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and one double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For bow 25, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the nine stitches. For bow 26, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and one double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For bow 27, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches. For bow 28, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches.
one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches and one double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 29 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches. For row 30 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and one double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 31 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches. For row 32 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches and one double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 33 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches. We're going to start decreasing now. For row 34 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the following stitch and we're going to work 
a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For a joined double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first, the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. We've got two loops left on our hook, then put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on our hook, then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Now we've got three loops on our hook and then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For bow 35 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 8 stitches. For row 36 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and one double crochet into each of the last two stitches. For bow 37 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our eight stitches. For row 38 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 39 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 40 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 41 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our six stitches. For 
For bow 42, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 43, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our five stitches. For bow 44, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet in the next stitch. And a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 45, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our four stitches. For bow 46, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 47, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our three stitches. For bow 48, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in the first stitch and we'll work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For a joined half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For bow 49, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For bow 50, we start with one chain and turn and we'll work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. For a join single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. For bow 51, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in our stitch. And that's the moon done, except for a neatening row. 
Now, if you didn't want the nose, you just work one single crochet in each stitch around the moon. But if you want the nose, um, I'll start the nose about five stitches up from the center. So for my neatening row, I start with one chain and I work a single crochet in each stitch down to about five stitches up from the center stitch. I'll measure it out when I get a bit closer. I just find a suitable place to put my hook not too far from the edge and I try not to pull too tight. I'm getting close to five stitches before the centre of the moon. I'll just work a couple more. Now for the nose, I work one half double crochet in the next stitch. A double crochet in the following stitch and a treble in the next stitch. For a treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. We've got three loops left Yarn around the hook. Take the hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. We have two loops left. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. And then we work four chain. And slip stitch in that same stitch as our treble. And that's the nose done. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch back to the beginning of the row so back up to the point so I'll continue working my neatening row like that and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row once I get back to the beginning of the row, I slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And that's the main part of the moon done. For the outer eye, I've got my 106 a snow white and I make a magic loop.
For row one, I work one chain, one single crochet in the circle, one double crochet in the circle, and one single crochet into the circle. And I pull the circle tight. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each of the three stitches. And for row three, I start with two chain and turn and I'm going to work a joined double crochet over the three stitches. So I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. I have two loops on the hook. Then I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. I have three loops on my hook. Then I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, and yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. I've got four loops on the hook, and then I put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's the eye except for a neatening row. I'm going to work a slip stitch in each stitch round but I'll start with one chain and then work a slip stitch in each stitch round fairly loosely. And once you get back to the beginning of the row, you fasten off. And that's the outer eye done. Now, for the inner eye, using my 110, the black, I make a magic loop. I'm going to leave a bit of an end. I'll probably fasten that to the eye with it. I work one chain and into the circle I work one single crochet, one double crochet and one single crochet. I pull the circle tight and I fasten off. And I've got a bit of a longer tail on that end as well. So that's the inner eye. For the mouth, that's just worked using chain. I'll leave a bit of a longer tail at the end and I work eight chain and fasten off leaving a longer tail. I'll use them to stitch it to the moon. And that's the mouth worked. That's all my pieces worked. So I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. 
there's my pieces. I've got the moon, the outer eye, the inner eye and the mouth. The first thing I'll do is attach the inner eye to the outer eye, just at the bottom there. The next things I do is attach the eye to the moon and I'll embroider on eyelashes as well and then I'll attach the mouth as well, just in there and then I'll be back to show you the finished moon and there's the finished moon when I use it on something I'll add a little teddy bear or an animal to the end of the moon the finish size is 10.5 centimetres by 15 centimetres or 4 inches by 6 inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.